protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results is the definition of insanity. Well, investigative reporter Ed Klein has an anonymous source that says that Hillary Clinton is preparing to have her own TV show in preparation for a 2020 presidential run. Will the Democratic Party run Hillary Clinton again as their nominee for the president and risk losing again? and another attempt to thwart Donald Trump. Well, let's go ahead and ask some of these college students here today what they think. Would they vote for Hillary Clinton if she run again? And who do they think the Democratic Party should choose to run against Donald Trump? So let's go see what they have to say. What do you think about uh, rumors that Hillary Clinton could run in 2020? I think it's likely. I mean, I don't... Would you vote for her if she ran in 2020? I mean, I'd have to survey all of the candidates. I mean, I'm not in the future. I don't know who else is going to run against her. I don't know. We'll have to see where the country is in another four years. I'm an independent thinker, and I, you have to assess the situation and you assess her, what her supposed policy at the time, or at least what she claims to want to do for the country. And then you have to compare her with other, the other candidates that are going to be running in 2020 and assess and could put that in the context of where the country and the, you know, the globe and other nations are going to be in our economic situation. It's not a, I'm not going to say, well, I'm going to vote for her based on some X value that I hold and she claims to hold. Depends on the other candidates. I don't know. I guess it depends on who she's going against at that time. Yeah, I think I would. I don't really know much about politics, so, but I'm a, I guess, consider myself a Democrat, so. Voters are probably not going to be too sympathetic to her ability to win when she had such an unfavorable opponent and still lost. So I don't think it's pretty viable that she's going to run again in 2020. I mean, that'd be cool, but um, if it's true. I would vote for her again, but I don't think she's the strongest candidate that the Democratic Party has to put forward. She just has a lot of like negative things around her, you know, as far as the emails. And even though like she has been um, cleared of whatever, um, people still have those um, negative images of her. And also from things that she's done in the past, like as far as like, you know, with her husband and all of that stuff. So, I mean, uh, I would definitely say maybe a new person, especially since she's already lost. After everything that happened in the last election, you could tell a lot of Democrats didn't really trust her to begin with, but... Uh, I don't think so. People that are the the best candidates for presidency, unfortunately, for the presidency, unfortunately, often don't come out. They work in the background. They're, you know, I don't know, the policy guys, or the, you know, or they're, or maybe they're even working in the military or whatever it is. But I, I think that the the Democrats and even the, the Republican Party this year did did not offer their best. I don't really think there is a best candidate. Um, I don't know. I think it depends on the times and it depends on the situation. I think someone else would probably be a stronger pick. I think they could find somebody else, someone who's not as controversial and kind of has their shit together. Hillary Clinton's like reputation's been really tarnished. And so we need someone that's more respectable and trustable. I would have preferred Bernie Sanders. We don't know who else is going to run. Like people were surprised that Obama were going, was, was going to run like when he first ran. Um, and Hillary was the front runner then, and then things changed up. So you never really know with politics. It's like the constant ebb and flow of society. Who would you suggest, you know, that the Democratic Party could run that could possibly stand a chance against Donald Trump? Michelle Obama. I think she's got a lot of name uh, recognition, which was part of the reason they forwarded Clinton in the first place. So I think Michelle Obama would probably be a pretty solid pick. A majority of the people that I know had supported Bernie Sanders and all that other stuff. So I feel like when you consider his um, hyper democratic views versus her kind of almost like side to side, that um, there's more people that just want a stronger, more well-rounded, represented person. The, the founding fathers didn't believe that the average man was 
fit to be president, you know? And, and the role of the presidency is something that's complex and that's evolved over time. And I think that the way that American democracy functions today is something that demands more than just, you know, a man of the people. I think that's a part of the equation, but it's, you can't just say, well, you know, as long as you're... I don't think it's, it's, it's just a matter of values. There, there's also a matter of competency in being president that should yeah. be considered. Now, if Donald Trump actually, you know, helps get jobs and impacts America in a positive way over the next four years, would you consider voting for him in four years? Um, if it goes well, I mean, nothing's out of the, the air on that. There is a possibility, but um, I don't, I'd have to see it to believe it. If he were to make changes in like a positive way, I mean, that's great, but I probably just wouldn't vote. I'm not really a political person. Uh, my first time voting was this year, so um, I would just let it be. If he does bring back that, but also improves um, on the social climate uh, and helps people of minorities and LGBT, then I would consider, consider it, yeah. Not after everything that he's been trying to do and what he said. I, I can't. So you think words speak louder than actions? Yes. Mm -hmm, for sure. Mm -hmm. I can't say I would and I can't say I wouldn't. Um, it, what really matters is, you know, what's happening during that point in time and whatever happens then. I mean, I'm going to um, see where that takes me. After speaking with college students, the general consensus seems to be that most don't feel that Hillary Clinton is a strong enough candidate to go up against Donald Trump in 2020. Most feel that because she lost in 2016, it really just showed how weak of a candidate that she really was and that maybe if they chose someone else, they would have stand a chance. Well, hopefully Hillary Clinton isn't crazy enough to run or maybe hopefully she is because that could just secure Donald Trump's presidency for 2020. This this is Millie Weaver signing off for Infowars.com. Bing, bing, bong, bong, bing, bing, bing. That's going to do it for the show tonight. Thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you here tomorrow, 7 p.m. Central. In case you haven't heard, InfoWars has become the most influential media outlet in America. We're making freedom go viral. And now we are proud to announce a new weapon in the epic battle against the globalist. InfoWars Prime. Where you can watch live, high-definition feeds of The Alex Jones Show, plus exclusive insider videos from the InfoWars crew and behind-the-scenes action. Go to InfoWars.com forward slash app and download today. Today, InfoWars Prime is available right now for your iPhone or Android. You will have access to exclusive videos that you can't see anywhere else. And that means live coverage of events and breaking news on location as it happens. You can also take advantage of amazing deals from the InfoWars store that are only available for InfoWars Prime subscribers. That's InfoWars Prime at InfoWars.com forward slash app. And if you can hear my voice, you are the resistance.